Have you ever wondered why beginners can't play complex pieces like Howl's Moving Castle? I guess to most of you it seems pretty obvious. After all, it contains several advanced techniques and tons of chords. But what if I told you that I frequently teach this piece to beginner students? You may wonder how this is possible. Well, I'll show you right now. The original piece is like this. A beginner might play it like this. Someone who has played a few months could play it like this. Someone who's played for over a year would play it like this. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own version of this piece no matter what your level is. To learn the melody you're going to have to learn two chords, A minor, A, C, E, and E minor, E, G, B. The melody starts with an A minor chord but starting from the E and goes all the way up to the next E, repeats the E, steps down three, and then back up one. All together that sounds like this. The next part of the melody is an A minor chord but starting from A. It goes up to the next A, repeats it two more times, goes down two, and then up one. All together that sounds like this. Next we have an E minor chord but starting from B. We go up to the next B, go down to the F sharp, up to the A, down to the C, up to the E, then D, A, B. All together that sounds like this. This part is more challenging because you'll need to put your middle finger over your thumb, like that. <laughs> 